Easy Diffusion users, I know you feel left out with all the SDXL hype. Let me show you this render time that I'm getting for my system. One minute, five seconds, 65 seconds. And this is at 1024 by 1024 using the MBBXL Ultimate SDXL model. And also I use 30 steps for these tests. Now it's not the fastest compared to the other platforms. It's probably the slowest one, but there are a few things we can do to speed it up just a little bit. Prior to this, I was getting like two, three minute render times. Not good. <laughs> so first and foremost, go to the bottom, toggle off show live preview. That adds a few seconds to your generation times. Then you wanna go into your settings, scroll down a little bit towards GPU memory usage and put this on low. Even though I have a 3060 Ti with eight gigabytes of VRAM, SDXL is very VRAM hungry. If you have a 12 gigabyte card, you could probably get away with balanced and make sure you have on beta and diffusers. Just toggle it on here. Click on save after you've done those changes. So you'll see at the top corner, I'm on version 3.0.2. Next, we're gonna shut down Easy Diffusion, close the terminal as well. And now we have to install Xformers. Some of the other platforms have a toggle switch or an easy way to install this. Easy Diffusion doesn't, so we have to install it manually. Don't worry, it's super simple. Now I will say I hold no responsibility if you install this incorrectly. Don't go in the comments and blame me if you have issues. Go over to Easy Diffusion's Discord for complete support. But if you follow along exactly as I show you, you should be fine. So go to your main Easy Diffusion folder. Your path should look something like this, where your main folder is Stable Diffusion UI. Scroll down just a bit to the bottom. You'll see this icon called developerconsole.cmd. Double click on that, and then you should get a command window. On this GitHub page, we want to go to step number two and just highlight this line here and press Control C to copy it. Or you can right click and copy it that way. And then in the command window, you want to paste that line in there. All you have to do is hit enter. Next, you want to go to line three here and highlight all of this information up until where it says CU118. Copy that, paste it into the command window here and hit enter. Now your results might look a little different from mine because I've already done it. See how it says here, already satisfied? Yours may say something else. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you run into issues and you have some errors, follow these instructions instead to uninstall everything you've done, okay? We can go ahead and close the command line and now start up Easy Diffusion. So enter in your prompt, use whichever SDXL model, whether it's a base or a custom model. I'm gonna run mine in real time just to show you. Now your first render might be a little bit longer, but the next ones to follow should be fine. Just to recap, as I said before, I was averaging 65.3 for 1024 by 1024 and 55.6 for 768 by 1024. Compared to the other platforms, it's really not the fastest to be honest, but at least you're not waiting two, three minutes. And the Xformers, basically it helps speed up your GPU, especially for stable diffusion. There we go, it's gonna finish off now here. I accidentally clicked another one here. So you're gonna see my render time here is a little bit longer because I'm recording in the background here. One minute, 18 seconds, so 78 seconds. So recording at the same time really adds adds a lot of time. If you're using a custom model from Civit AI, you don't really need the refiner. However, if you want to try it out, it only works through image to image. Let me render an image using the base model. Once your image is rendered, hover over your image, click use as input. You'll see it added to the image to image section. Scroll down, change it to the refiner. And depending on your steps before, you really only wanna use like five to 10 steps. So I'm gonna do two runs, one at 0.2 prompt strength and 0.3 prompt strength. So here's the original image and I'm gonna zoom in at 
200% so that we can look at the details. Let's make it 240%. And I will tell you, this isn't the proper way to use the refiner. This is more of a workaround. So I want you to pay attention to the eyes and the teeth especially, and the surrounding details. Here it is at 0.2 strength. If you notice the eyes and the teeth, there's just a bit more detail in the teeth, but we do start to see some smoothening in the shoulders. So I'm gonna flip between the two. There's the base model. There it is at 0.2. And here it is at 0.3 prompt strength. So notice the teeth are more defined. The eyes look slightly different too. So let's go back to the base. See how the eyes have just a bit more detail on the edges. At 0.3, we lose that, but we gain more definition in the teeth. As I said, this isn't the proper way to use the refiner. Typically, you need some noise on the last steps when using the refiner. So it's really up to you if you want to use it. Personally, I don't use the refiner, and if I do want to, I'll use Comfy UI for that. If you look on the left here, there's now support for control net. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you want me to cover for easy diffusion. In the meantime, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.